A few years after Steve Jobs's death, the size of the iPhone's screen began to grow, first to 4 inches, then to 4.7. For the first time in 2014, the Plus version with a 5.5-inch screen was introduced. This phone was huge. Many people liked this size, but many customers who preferred compactness were worried about the possible retirement of the iPhone 5s, the last remaining iPhone with a 4-inch screen. And in 2016, the company decides to please a dedicated audience and release a compact smartphone in the same strict design. No need to tell anyone how successful was the model. It was balanced both in price and size. The iPhone SE was not just a small phone, it provided an alternative to people who did not want to buy a large screen iPhone. This, in turn, gave Apple the most diverse iPhone lineup in history. In 2017, Apple's iPhone line included models priced from $350 to $1,149, providing customers with a wide selection. There is a steady decline in sales of iPhones and stagnation of the market. Of course, the culprit can be called a sharp increase in product prices, the cost of the iPhone exceeded the psychological threshold of $1,000. But sales statistics speak for themselves, the model was very weak, if not failure. And many will say that it is logical that the company miscalculated. And here we come to the fact that the company just needs a new SE, which would harmoniously fit into the model range of iPhones, both in size and cost. iPhone XR while you just need to remove. Even if the SE2 will cost more than $350, having such a compact iPhone will satisfy customers who want a small smartphone running iOS.